Hey all geeks, welcome to another video. So today we will be discussing all about elimination and eradication of different diseases. So basically we will be discussing the difference between the two. What are the diseases that have been eradicated? Which are the diseases on the verge of eradication? Diseases that have been eliminated? And which diseases in India have been eradicated or eliminated? So thank you guys so much for leaving comments down below and liking my videos. Please continue to comment down below. I am trying my best to make videos on each of your recommended topics. Now, without much further ado, let's get right into it. So firstly, what is eradication? So basically, it is the deliberate effort that has led to a permanent reduction to zero of a worldwide incidence of an infection caused by a particular causative agent. Okay, now eradication can be done by basically intervention that is by using certain drugs or vaccinations in order to basically eradicate or completely remove the disease causing agent. Okay. Now, what are the requirements for a particular disease to be able to be eradicated? So firstly, the disease should be infectious disease, meaning it should be communicable. It should have a human reservoir or it should be able to transmit from human to human or there should be a zoonotic agent involved or an animal reservoir. Second category is it needs to have a prevention or a treatment. And that's how we will be able to eradicate it, right? So prevention can include vaccinations and treatment is basically giving the necessary drugs. Next, there are two diseases worldwide that have been completely eradicated. One is the smallpox virus. It was declared eradicated in the year 1980. Smallpox is caused by the variola virus and it was basically eradicated using vaccinations. Second one is called as the Rinder pest. Now Rinder pest was declared eradicated in the year 2011 and is caused by the Rinder pest virus. Basically the intervention done was vaccination and sanitary measures. Rinder pest basically affects cattle. Now, what are the diseases that are eradicable? So basically, there are seven diseases that can be potentially eradicated. And these are polio, gunia worm disease, lymphatic filariasis, cysticircosis, measles, mumps, and rubella. Okay. So seven different diseases that have, that can be potentially eradicated. Next, elimination. Now, what is elimination? Basically, the effort to reduction to zero of the incidence of an infection caused by an agent in a defined geographic area. Okay, this term is very important. The effort to reduce the pathogen to zero in a defined geographic area. Basically, actions need to be taken to prevent the re-emergence of the disease once it has been eliminated. So if it is eliminated, it can re-emerge and therefore we have to constantly be on, a, on our toes in order to prevent that particular disease. Okay. Now, you may ask, what is the difference then between irradiation, eradication and elimination? So, basically, eradication is permanent and global, whereas elimination is basically restricted to only a specific area. So, eradication is on the worldwide scale, whereas elimination may be considered at a smaller area like a country. Okay? Now. Polio. Why am I specifically putting polio up? Because as of 2019, 
polio is endemic only in three countries that is afghanistan nigeria and pakistan so we are very close to completely eradicating the polio virus specifically for india we have been successful in the elimination and eradication of polio and we were declared polio free in 2014 after we found that no new cases have emerged since 2011 now which are the diseases that could be eliminated throughout the world in specific regions so firstly yaws so india has already eliminated yaws al along with another place called as ecuador next is the the second one is trachoma that can be prevented by sanitary measures and facial cleanliness next one is onchoceriasis which is also called as the river blindness it is mostly confined to the areas of african continent finally malaria which is basically a ongoing process of elimination so bill and melender gates foundation has proposed a plan in order to end malaria by 2040 okay so these are the four diseases that can be eliminated if you want to know specific about the disease and the causative agent if you want such a video let me know in the comments below i'll definitely try to make one on these next now an important news with regard to malaria malaria was eliminated in from sri lanka in the year 2012 okay and they received the who certification for the same in 2016 so sri lanka has completely eliminated malaria now there are four diseases that india has eradicated and that is one smallpox that was eradicated in the year 1980 globally and india had eradicated it in 1977 itself second one is yaws india was the first country to eradicate it during the 1952 to 1964 campaign third is the polio so basically as just discussed previously 2014 india received the certificate of being polio free next gunia worm disease it is a second disease after smallpox that india eradicated and that was last in 1996 so these are the four diseases india has eradicated smallpox yaws polio and gunia worm next that diseases india has eliminated so basically three one is the maternal and neonatal tetanus second leprosy third avian influenza caused by the strains h5n1 and h5n8 so that's it from me for today if you find my videos informative and if you want me to continue this please keep liking and subscribing to my channel and if you want to know anything else in the icmr series like what is the covid vaccine you can click on the button over here in the i button or down in the description i'll see you in my next video bye